Narrative Writing Lesson, Introducing Narrative Writing and the Narrative Writing Diamond. Look at these storybooks. Each tells a narrative story. Narrative stories entertain the reader. Narrative stories are all about a main character. How many of these characters do you recognize? The main character has a problem or an adventure. Gerald the giraffe is sad because he can't dance as well as the other animals in the jungle. See Gerald's problem? Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and ma matching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. How does he solve his problem? Now, use the summaring, summarizing framework to sum up the story. Main character, setting, problem, experience, adventure, solution, conclusion. This story is about who's the character. The problem, adventure, or experience was that single significant main event, the most important thing that happened in the story. The problem was solved, adventure slash experience concluded when, what was the solution or the conclusion? This is a story about Gerald. The problem was he couldn't dance. The problem was solved when the cricket played a tune and helped him to dance. We also use this summarizing framework to plan a story. Again, we have the main character, the setting, the problem, experience, or adventure, the solution, and the conclusion. This is the shape of a narrative story. The diamond changes a summary into a fully elaborated, entertaining story. Let's look at the narrative writing diamond section by section. From the top, to the middle, to the bottom. An entertaining beginning starts off by grabbing the reader's attention. Hook your reader. How do they do that? Elaborative detail brings your story to life. That means you're describing important story critical characters, settings, or objects. The middle or main event is the biggest part of the story. It shows action in slow motion, frame by frame, and stretches it out. Include description and main character's thoughts and feelings. At the end, the main character's actions lead to a solution of the problem or a conclusion of the adventure. And then an extended ending is where the main character has a memory, a feeling, a hope, or a wish. As the year goes on, you'll learn each skill on the diamond, entertaining beginnings, elaborative detail, suspense, main event, solution, conclusion, and the extended ending. And you're going to learn how to watch your writing shine. This is an example of how one student used each part of the writing diamond in her rough draft. The title of the piece is A Not So Fun Adventure. Hello, is anyone there? I gasped, pulling my jacket tighter around myself. I was exploring the cave in back of my house. It was about a mile behind me. 
house next to the river. My toes were numb and my ears were red. It was very cold out and we were supposed to get some rain. Pulling myself up, I fell yet stumbled to my feet. Now I was standing on a ledge in the dark cave. It had rocks and ledges everywhere, and a stream went down the middle. It looked like it went on forever. Just then, it... So here is the entertaining beginning. The character starts off in a cave in the back of the house and says, Hello, is anyone there? Elaborative detail is where the author tells us about how they're feeling and gives us details about what's going on. And then the two words just then, they give you a sense of suspense, like what's coming next, anticipation, I need to know. The author continues, the water started to pour, rain rushed in from all angles. Slipping, I fell into what was now a raging river running down the middle of the cave. My head grew dizzy and my thoughts were blurred. The splashing waters throw me around like a toy. Freezing cold water splashed up against me in the struggle to stay alive. Suddenly, my hands felt something. It was a rock ledge. Using the rest of my strength, I pulled with all my might. So there's lots and lots of suspense. We're wondering what's going to happen. And this is the main event. You'll notice that it's the biggest part of the writing. Um, the main event is when the character al almost drowns in a cave. On this page, the main event continues. The main character struggles and thrives as told through action, description, thoughts and feelings. And do you see how the main event is the biggest part of the story? The conclusion leads to the extended ending, which gives a feeling and a memory. Let's review. Narrative stories focus on a character who has a problem or adventure. Authors use the summarizing framework to plan their narrative stories. Authors use the writing diamond to fully elaborate their story summaries. Always entertain your reader. Think about the diamond every time you read a narrative story. 